It is the 15th of the 7th, 2014. This is your radioactive reality. Day number 1,222. Let's get started. Any e news? Japan experts warn of more quakes off Fukushima coast. Government, there is, there is fear relatively large ones will occur. Recent magnitude 6.8, a delayed tectonic reaction to the uh, magnitude 9.0 on 311. So they're saying they're still getting aftershocks from the 9.0 back in 311. Quote, this is just one aftershock of several to come. Could occur in the next two weeks. Again, Japan has historically had an active seismic zone. Um, tsunamis throughout history, typhoons, the works. What a great place to build nuclear power plants. Officials, radioactive material released into air from Fukushima plant, areas far away being contaminated. Government tracking plumes using emergency prediction system. Quote, large amounts of radioactive substances will soon be released. This is based on a study they did back in 2013, where apparently a large amount of crops 20 kilometers away from the Fukushima plant were contaminated with cesium and they were over the 100 becquerels per kilogram uh, guidelines that the Japanese use. Um, just goes to show that stuff was probably exported um, to the United States, Canada, or China, who all have very much more lax um, rules, depending on where you're at, as far as our daily allowable consumption of cesium. The insanity continues. Japan nuclear professor, Fukushima plant now a swamp of radioactive material. Can't stop pumping in more water because they don't know where the melted fuel went. I can't believe after three years and how many months now, they still don't know where the fuel is. Mm -hmm. They want to build a roof over the entire site, question mark. Uh, continued presence of waters threatens construction of ice wall around the reactors. Uh, basically, they're saying the rainwater is causing all kinds of havoc at the site basic, because they backed up all the stuff trying to get the leaking from stopping and the place has turned into a big swamp zone. They want to pave the entire plant, basically cap it, put a roof on it. The insanity continues. Um, yeah, and that ice wall, they... The water's moving too fast, they can't get it frozen, and there's too much salt in it. Uh, the water level's rising and lowering with the ocean at the plant. Blah, blah, blah. We've been through this a hundred times. Fukushima press conference. Quote, to the people of the world, dangerous developments, we need your help. I vomited blood, skin inside my mouth peeled out. No limit to radiation damage. Contamination is all over Japan. Speaker nearly cries when revealing babies in rain waiting for food after the explosion. Quote, the government didn't issue any warnings. And they're still not. They're in denial. The lawyers are in charge. This is all about profit and liability. The insanity continues. Government report nuclear waste was up to 1,600 degrees Fahrenheit during WIP pl plutonium release. The WIP plutonium release. But don't worry, folks. There's no immediate danger. Concern that heat chemically or physically changed contents of other drums. Increased hazard of spontaneous reaction may have already occurred. May have already occurred. Mm. Over 50 Drums at risk. There's way more than over 50 drums at risk down there. And the lies and the manipulation and the roundy, roundy, round at the website goes. We all know the story. We've been following this stuff too long. Kitty litter. Kitty litter. Fukushima radioactive releases into ocean can continue for thousands of more years, says nuclear expert. I'm going to guess millions. <coughs> Japan government concerned with tracking radioactive waste in the Pacific as it returns to Fukushima from the United States coast after several decades. 
we're not testing our waters. Don't worry, folks. There's no radiation getting this way. The Japanese are concerned about when it comes back to them in a few decades. What's going on on the west coast of the United States and Canada? Hmm. Big mystery. And, of course, they had the big quake uh, 6.8 off the coast of Fukushima. Um, pretty close to the plant, actually. And uh, big typhoon hit the same exact area. Um, and, of course, did water leak out of the Fukushima plant during the typhoon. They have been historically known to release God knows how many amounts of water uh, during typhoon season uh, off the coast of Fukushima in the last three years. I can tell you how many times we've reported uh, that they released water during the storm. And these shady things that go on when you have uh, the Japanese mafia running the cleanup operation and, of course, our well-trusted uh, politicians in charge of the situation uh, at their government house there. Mm. Got all kinds of things to look forward to because nobody wants to blame the nuclear industry for anything. The insanity continues. Health effects in the U.S. from Fukushima radiation? Question mark. Stanford professor. Ah, am I concerned? Question mark. Yes, I am. That's because I know radiation. There's an increased risk. Avoid radiation as much as you can. Hmm. It's in the very air we breathe now. It's in the water. It's in the food. It is everywhere. No escape, folks. UC Berkeley nuclear professor, everyone is really scared of it. That's what the big problem is. Enjoy your bananas and your potato chips. And uh, from the big storm, 45 foot waves off Japan coast from massive typhoon. Storm chaser, biggest I've ever seen. Absolutely overwhelming. Rains on an unseen scale. High danger of landslides. Record landfall, rainfall up to 16 inches already. Uh, and the astronauts were saying um, <laughs> that newer guy has literally been cut in half. Unreal, the storm was so massively big. And again, uh, TEPCO has been known to release water during these storms into the Pacific Ocean. Uh, there's no telling what's really going on out there because they're not telling us. Uh, Fukushima Diary did a big switch up. It's a completely different site now. I'm going to go ahead and provide a link to that. But they've got some stories going on about um, the spent fuel pools in number five and number six. Uh, number five spent fuel pool cooling system shut down and the water is literally heating up. They're saying they've got like uh, just a few more days before this thing starts to go critical. Uh, no real word lately. Uh, the last word was on July 11th, Reactor 5 temperature jumped 13 degrees Celsius while losing coolant system for two days. Uh, they're having coolant system of Reactor number 6 spent fuel also suspended for two hours. So they're having problems keeping these, these spent fuel pools cool for some reason at the Fukushima plant. And of course everything's perfectly under control. No immediate danger. <sighs> What do you do? That's about all I have for you today. Of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. Attach your videos or comments below. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.